Hi, welcome to the Smiling Tabby. It's been a while since I did a Dollar Tree haul video, so I'm gonna do that for you now. I have items all over here. I'm just surrounded by them, and a lot of the items I picked up were back to school items, some fun stationary items that I couldn't resist. So we'll just get into it. Um, I'll try to do it in categories, but I might jump around a little bit. So I had gone to a couple Dollar Trees when I was out of state on vacation. And then recently I went to my two favorite local Dollar Trees. So I have one in my town and I have one the next town over. So I hit those up. I picked up two of these. Um, I don't know what you call these magazine holders, I think. And I just really liked the fun kind of retro Lisa Frank inspired rainbow design. I think this is Jot is the brand. I don't think it's Teaching Tree, but um, they had a couple other little patterns, but I just thought they were really cute and wanted to get them to keep at home to help keep myself organized. And then I also picked up, not too exciting, but, and probably not the best deal because I know you can get some really great deals on back to school items from Target and Walmart and Staples, but I picked up some filler paper just in case my son needs it when he starts back to school. I got college ruled and wide ruled. I don't know, there's not a huge difference here. Um, 200 sheets per pack. I don't know if teachers care anymore which one you use. So I figured since I was already there, I'd pick those up. Now these were also in the back to school section and they're kind of silly, but they're calling them locker rugs and the brand it's by Jot. And it's just obviously like fun little thing to put in the bottom of your locker. But I picked up two because I plan on using them to include in the dollhouse that I'm redoing for my nieces, um, which is still under under construction, if you will. I, I've done the inside uh, as far as painting and whatnot, and I'm working on the outside right now. So I do it in spurts here and there. So I think these would be great to add to that. And let's see, I got a Jot electric pencil sharpener. I heard that these work pretty good, so I figured I'd grab one, and they had other colors. I think they had more of like the pastels, but I just got this soft gray. Uh, gray. Then um, they're calling this a pencil pouch. It says basic on it. I have another one. I think it just says stuff, but I um, like to use bags like this within my purse. I have like a big kind of unstructured bag that I use as a purse right now. So I like to have like bags within my bag to keep things organized like tissues, lip gloss. So pick that up and let's see, I wanted to kind of keep it all in the back to school stationary like realm here, but we'll jump around a little bit. This is stationary item. This is their, one of their new calendars. And I love when Dollar Tree comes out with their calendars. This is a 2023 calendar. I currently have a 2022 one up in my office at my work and I love it. And they had a few different designs. I choose the I chose the farmers market one. And I'll show you the back without too much glare, I hope. All the little um different um monthly designs. And I will tell you that I I know for a fact that if you want to save one of these designs and frame them, there is a frame, I wish I had one with me right now, for, that Dollar Tree sells. It's not the highest quality because Dollar Tree frames are not the greatest, but it's a black uh, frame and it's a collage frame. So it has a mat inside and it holds maybe like seven different pictures. That size frame, if you find it, holds these pages perfectly from the calendar. Also, I do know a lot of people have turned these um, smaller images on the back into magnets. So I'm gonna try doing that. I think maybe using some of the Dollar Tree tumbling tower wooden pieces, maybe gluing them together to form like a little base and then mod podging an image like this on the back and adding, or on the front and then on the back adding a magnet. Oh my, stumbling over my words. Okay, this item, I, I wish I kept the label on it to show you, but this did not come with pens in it. I, I put pens in here, obviously. But this item is from the toy section and it they're calling it like fashion doll clothing holder or something like that. And it comes with two tiny little plastic hangers for your Barbie's clothes. But I thought this is would be great to serve as a little bag to keep my pens and stuff in for journaling or for my planner. 
<clears throat> so I actually picked up a couple of them. Another one I'm using just to keep receipts in to keep myself organized. But I filled it up with a lot of pens that I recently picked up at Dollar Tree um, by the brand Zebra. So Dollar Tree has had a lot of these Zebra um, pens and they also have colored pencils sold singly. So they, they did not come in a set. I just bought a whole bunch of them. This, I hope you can see that. This is the colored pencil and it's like a automatic colored pencil, mechanical pencil, sorry. Then they sell um, this Zebra, ooh, I don't know how to say this, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Dry X, uh, just a ballpoint pen. I got a number of different colors. And then this also Zebra brand, they're calling this the Zebra Flight pen. And I think there's one more. Yeah, this one is also called the Sarasa. Sarasa, I would call it Sarah Sarah before. A fine liner. So when I saw this pink case for like Barbie clothes, I thought that it's perfect for pens. And then this is just a silly little thing I picked up. It's a keychain, but it's like a little bear donut. I thought it was cute and it's distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories. So thought he was fun. I picked up a number of items from this Adore brand, Adore. And it says like, oh gosh, it's so tricky to see. I think it says distributed by K7 or something. It doesn't say Dollar Tree or Greenbrier on it, but these are little sticky notes and um, it's a strawberry and a peach. And I have a lot of strawberry items I'm going to be sharing with you. Also by the Adore brand were these fun paper clips. So I grabbed those because I think they would be fun to use in my planner. And <clears throat> this is a Jot brand sticky notes. Um, it's actually one pad. It looks like there's two, but um, it's just one pad of heart-shaped sticky notes. I think you get 60 in here. Yeah, you get 60. And they're fun to use at work. And then, okay, we already talked about the pencil sharpener. Do, 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 do. We already talked about that. Okay, I picked up, we're gonna jump around a little bit. The, I only picked up one item that was in the health and beauty section. This is by the Be Pure brand, and it's, uh, they're calling it a, a lip, I think it said lip balm. And I loved, oops, I just dropped it. I love the celestial design on this. And this is the color, I'll swatch it for you because it looks to be pretty creamy and not too, let's see if I, I'm not very good at swatching, and not too pigmented. So don't let this color um, fool you. Can you see that? No, you can't, can you? There we go. It's not very pigmented, it's kind of sheer. So I thought that was really kind of fun. And then some just standard, like nothing exciting for the pantry. I picked up a number of cans of the Organic Valley Diced Tomatoes, and they don't expire till 2024. I don't know if $1.25 is really a great deal for these, but since I was already at the Dollar Tree, and I liked the fact that there's nothing like funky in here, it's just organic Roma tomatoes, organic tomato juice, citric acid, sea salt, calcium chloride. And then I got a couple of the smaller cans of tomato paste, Again, they don't expire till 2024, May of 2024. Um, I know you can get tomato paste in this size for a lot cheaper. So if that's something, you know, you don't want to splurge $1.25 on that, you might have better luck at Walmart or Aldi. Do you guys say Aldi or Aldi? I feel like I go back and forth between that. And then I got the Organic Valley tomato sauce. Just great to have on hand if you want to do a chili or you want to do some of your own tomato sauce and kind of start with this and then doctor it up with some fresh tomatoes. That's kind of fun. And then this just little home decor item, this little cute bottle. I loved the little tree charm on here. This is metal and it has a little cork on it. And I don't think this is, this isn't like a brand name. It's just this glass bottle distributed by Greenbrier. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just thought it was really cute. And um, it's pretty good quality. And I like that the bottle kind of looks vintage. So picked that up. Let's see. Okay, so I had found, oh, I gotta get organized. I had found three of these little adorable notebooks. And here's the first one. What I love about these, and the brand is Jot, 
What I love about these is they look like they're leather. They look and feel like leather and they're stitched. And I don't know what it is about these, but I just love them. I just think the quality is nice. I've given these as gifts before, but I found three new designs. We have the dinosaur and we have this cool shark. And then this, I don't know what this is. <laughs> a llama, a strange giraffe, I'm not sure. But I, when I saw these, I knew I had to get them because in the past I've picked up other ones. So I gathered them. So I thought we'd share the, I'd share them with you all now. So I have like a whole pile of them, of this cute little frog. I don't know, notebooks are like my weakness now. This really sweet little unicorn, adorable puppy, smiling kitty, cute owl, dinosaur and then this kind of unsure and questioning bear so I just thought these were so fun and I I don't know I can't resist them right it's a little things in life so now I have this whole cute little collection of little notebooks do I need them mm, technically no do I love them yes and I actually do have another one I have the, another extra of this cat one and I do keep it near my desk uh, for writing down like uh, login information, things I always forget. So I'm just going to grab this pile here if I can. Some more um, kind of stationary back to school items. I picked this up a while ago um, and I thought I would just include it in this haul. This is a Jot brand. It's, is it Jot? No, it just says distributed by Greenbrier, but it's this cute little notebook with metallic daisies with the silver foil. And then the back is just uh, flat, you know, white and yellow daisies. And I liked that it has this little elastic closure and it's just nothing special inside, just lined. So there's that. And then by the brand Crown Jewels, I picked up these two adorable little notepads. I think these have been out for a while, but they do have this pretty gold foil. And I just think this design, these designs are really pretty and it's just they're just plain lined pages inside but they do have designs on them like this one has some flowers muted flowers and then this one i think has more flowers kind of scattered on the pages and then also by crown jewels i picked up these two items because again i love the celestial design this one is a self-guided journal and this one doesn't say anything on it but the insides are about the same um there's like a page for your week and moods, goals. And then throughout the book, it's also lined with some kind of like little sketches in the corners and stuff. So I thought those were fun. Picked those up. Sticker wise, I only got one sheet of stickers and I actually think I might have these already. So I have to check. But I did think these were adorable, the little cats and the puppies. And if I do have this one already, I'll just tuck this in my gift closet. I have nieces and nephews. So um, when it comes time for someone's birthday or Christmas or whatever, I can pull little doodads from that cabinet. <clears throat> this is a Crown Jewels item as well. I just love this fun, funky floral print. And it's just a composition notebook. Nothing special on the inside. Don't know how many pages it is, but I thought that was pretty cool. And then I went bananas with the strawberries, <laughs> the strawberry things that they had. Um, this little pencil case, this is by the Adore brand as well. Um, and like I said before, I like keeping these in my bag to organize within my purse, but also they're great for pencils or whatever. I picked up two. If you do find these at your store and you're interested in them, just double check the zipper before you throw them in your cart because I've purchased some before in the past and got home and realized the zipper was kind of trashed. And then also strawberry printed, but this is a jot item. This zippered pencil cap pouch can go obviously in your three ring notebook if you want. So I thought these would be fun, even just to keep um, your toiletries in if you're traveling. It doesn't matter that it has the three ring um, holes here. And then, okay, these are by that Adore Me brand. Is it Adore Me or just Adore? I think it's just Adore. And it's manufactured for and distributed by the K7 Design Group, Brooklyn, New York, made in China. These are just the vinyl snap closure envelopes. I like to keep 
um, documents in here and then throw a label on the outside like what's in here like insurance paperwork or bills to pay and then lastly in the strawberry motif is the spiral bring spiral bound notebook by jot and there's 70 sheets in here so then i also found similar items in this fun rainbow pattern so this one is by the adore pencil case pencil case oh, it's kind of tricky to see and then jot had their version of the three ring binder one they're a little different. They both have rainbows, but this one has the clouds with the stars, and this one's just rainbows and clouds. But they all kind of go together. And then I picked up the Jot Spiral Bound Notebook. I use a spiral bound notebook at my job just to kind of write notes in every day. I'll open, uh, start a new page, write down the date, and then just things I need to do that day. Then it serves as like a reference. And also picked up two more of these uh, vinyl snap snap closure envelopes with those so we did did we do this whole pile yes we did we did this whole pile okay and then not so exciting but I picked up a bottle of Diet Coke <laughs> dollar a dollar a dollar 25 and it's uh 1.25 liters I don't know eh may not be the best deal there and then I picked up these, I've used these before and I think that they work well. You get six strips in here, so there's three days of treatment to uh, whiten your teeth. Ultimate white, um, let's see, this product will not whiten old fillings, crowns, or dentures. For best results, use for 30 minutes once a day for three consecutive days. So I picked those up. My son uses these too. There's another one, another variety of those, and I think it's charcoal. I've never used those. And then I, their fall items are out. So I picked up just one fall item and it's this cute little stack of faux books. Um, I remember they had something similar and I picked one up at, at, around Valentine's Day. These are smaller, like they're thinner than the Valentine's Day stack, but I just liked the, the design. And I don't even think I'll, I might change the bow or add a little something here. But um, I think it's pretty cute the way it is. They had a couple other um, versions, but this is the one I liked the best. And then this is like what, one of my new favorite things at the Dollar Tree. It's not that exciting, but it's, I never used these before. Essentials brand, large vacuum storage bag. So I must have picked up a few of these before I left on vacation and I used these to pack my clothes in so that I saved space and they're not a bad size actually is the size even on here yes okay 17.5 inches by 27 and a half inches um they fit a pillow perfectly um a set of sheets perfectly a comforter I wouldn't try putting a comforter in here or big bulky bedspread but um they work perfect for that kind of thing. And I was impressed with the quality. Let's open one up because I'm going to be organizing some um, sheets and things anyway. So we all know how these work, right? You put the stuff in, you don't overload it. You close the zipper, making sure it's closed well. Sometimes you have to go back and forth. And then you, um, you know, this is the zipper closure go through this a few times and then I even just take my fingers and really make sure that it's tightly closed and then <clears throat> it has this not um valve right here you unscrew this sorry for all the crinkling and then suck the air out with your vacuum and then seal this back on um I thought that I think they're pretty decent so I picked up a few of those and then my last item I believe oh, what bite no I actually have two more items to show you. I picked up this really cute cat. I love him. I don't know. There's just something funky about him. And he's kind of just like a modern little chubby black cat. And the quality is nice. And they also had them in white. So I just picked up one black one. And I think there's another like pose. I think there's one that's more laying down. But I just thought he was kind of cool. So I picked him up as a gift for somebody. And then, oh gosh. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to cough. 
sorry. And my last item, I was really excited to find these. So the brand is Stitch and Weft, and I've seen other people haul these. Maybe not this particular design. This is a kitchen dish towel set. There's two in here. And I was lucky enough to find these at my store. Uh, I went to my two, you know, close by stores. I only found them at one. And they are not a Dollar Tree brand. Let me get this close and then I'll read it to you too as well. So Soft Goods by Home Essentials Kitchen Towel. They're 28 by 18. This is a two pack. Machine wash coal distributed by Home Essentials, made in India. What I like about these, aside from I like the farmhouse design, is that they're cotton. I can't see on the microfiber towels. I just, I can't even touch them. They're just ugh. So I'm not sure how much these retail in a, you know, elsewhere, but they look like something that you would find at Home Goods, Marshalls. They're really beautiful. So when I saw them, I picked up a number of sets because because I'm going to use them as um, part of a Christmas gift for people. Um, you know, it would be really nice to include in a little gift basket. So that's it. That's it for my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're new, I hope you consider subscribing. I like to do hauls. Um, of course, I love to share stickers. So I do have some stickers to show you soon. And thank you again for sticking around. Bye.